Hello Booktube, it's Ben here from the History Fair channel. I'm here with a weekly reads um, video. So I'm going to explain, you know, what I've been reading this week and then what I'm going to plan on reading um, next week. But um, first, but, but before I get started, um, apologies for um, yesterday's video where I did um, a book haul video. Um, it seemed like in my head, halfway through making the video. My eyes seemed to go a bit funny and I just felt a bit spaced out, probably because I haven't been feeling well this week. But also, um, last, or are we on Sunday? On Wednesday, we went to the, um, the opticians and um, my wife and I went along because she wears glasses too. And I'm supposed to wear my glasses. <laughs> but um I don't because um mainly because they're um like a decent sized one. But then I find when I wear them they um they're always touching my eyebrows and they're getting all they get all dirt and then the dirt eventually I find works its way around down the the um the lenses and so I just, they just tend to ignore me. Uh, annoy me, yeah. And um I just can't really get on with them, so I, I don't tend to wear them, although I'm supposed to, for things like reading and work on the computer. So anyway, we went along Monday morning, and um, we were there for nine o'clock. And we didn't leave until quarter past twelve, around lunchtime, and I oh, just haven't to do all these silly tests, and... I have to keep waiting for the um, opticians to come out and various people to do this test and that test. He's having these machines puff on your eyeballs and trying to spot glaring flashes and lights and that sort of thing. And I just kind of, um, I think that was partly what made me feel start feeling ill from Wednesday. So anyway, um. That's probably the one of the main reasons why I've been feeling a bit spaced out and a bit funny, and because I don't watch my videos back, I tend to just fil film film the video straight away and then stick them straight on YouTube. So um, I'm not that keen on watching myself or listening to my voice. So um, if I did look a bit spaced out or a bit weird, and I know some of I seem to be having trouble with me re me reading. Um, that that will prob probably be the reason why I was kind of felt a bit spaced out during yesterday's book haul video. And so um, until I get my glasses, new glasses sorted out, which I should get in a couple of weeks, um, I'm doing a little bit less reading because um, it's really hurting my eyes sort of thing and affecting my head, giving me headaches and that sort of thing. So... Um, if I'm a little bit odd and weird at the moment, then I apologise. But um, you're probably thinking, well, no, no less odd than normal. So um, there we go. Let's we'll get on with the video for this week's weekly reads. This week, um, obviously, so that like I said, I haven't been doing that much reading, but um, I have been reading at least two books. Um, I've read. Um, the Hitler Myth by um, Joe De Boer, exposing the truth behind stories um, around Adolf Hitler, obviously. And there's a, the book um, looks at ve loads of questions um, that have been asked about um, Adolf Hitler, and um, you know, there's things like here I'll read them. Adolf Hitler was he a Jew? Did he live in poverty? Uh, was he a was he a hero? Did he have a son? Was he a socialist? Down to things like did he have a sexual disorder? Did Hitler always get his way? Was Hitler ill? Uh, what ha what happened to Hitler's remains and all that? And so the book basically tries to debunk various myths and or say whether they are true and you know this and that did happen to him but it was a really good book and it was quite interesting and although i've heard um some of the myths some of them were 
that were um, new to me. So um, it was quite a good read and quite an interesting one. So I would happily recommend The Hitler Myth, exposing the truth behind the stories from the Führer, or about the Führer. That's published by Pen and Sword Books and it's priced at £25. It's quite a good book. And the second book I've read this week is, is called Carry On Regardless. It's um, getting to the bottom of Britain's favourite comedy films. Uh, written by Caroline Frost, published by Penisol Books, and this one books £20. And um, like I might have mentioned on a previous video, um, it looks like the film franchise of the Carry On films. They did loads of films, I think at least about in their 20s. And it was always something like uh, Carry On Camping, Carry On Sergeant, Carry On Nurse and Carry On Cowboy, various titles along that lines and that sort of thing. And it was like they were made around in the 70s or late 60s, 70s. And it was all this like tongue in cheek or what they would get, wouldn't get made today because they'd be seen as politically incorrect. So it was obviously um, a bit bawdy. Um, but it's very sexist in many ways. But actually the um, the book looks at a number of the characters and the storylines and that sort of thing. And it is very good. And actually it's... Whilst there is sexism remarks and sexist things said during the films and that. But actually you find when you watch many of the films, it's the women that get the upper hand and... The male characters play the idiot roles rather than um, the women. But I mean, I, it was a really good read and um, these films were always shown on our TVs in sort of like the 80s. I remember as a kid watching Sunday afternoons, it was either a western or um, a carry-on comedy. But um, I used to enjoy most of them, they were quite fun and light-hearted. But that was a, a really good um, book and nice to read. So it's priced at £20 if anyone is interested. It's available from Pen and Sword Books. Right, that's kind of all I've been able to read this week. Um, what were my eyes and feeling tired, trying to grow vegetables and work and stuff like that. What I'm going to read this, uh, this week is a book called The Real Dad's Army. Um, the War Diaries of Colonel Rodney Foster, edited by Ronnie Scott. Um, a couple of quotes on the front. Really wonderful, a unique record by a brave and thoughtful observer. A real life mannering. Uh, that's from the Daily Mail. And then it's got It's Magical from Dan Snow from BBC's The One Show. Uh, basically, it looks at... Um, in the Second World War, if you were too old to join the army, uh, or too young to join the army, you could join the Dad's Army, and it was like a collection of old men and young boys, really, and um, they were seen as the last line of defence in the UK, for in case Hitler did decide to invade. So, of course, you end up with um, this... Each town had their own Dad's Army brigade, and they'd all get together for weekly meetings, and train and use really quite basic uh, weapons and things like that and talk about tactics and that and it was up to them if, if they were invaded they were kind of like the last chance saloon and so this book looks at I don't like it's got like a di daily diary and um, explains about um, Colonel Rodney Foster and his, in, his particular army brigade so i'm quite looking forward to that i've had a quick flick through and it seems quite humorous and like old lads having a laugh and that sort of thing so um the real dad's army published by penguin and currently priced at nine or oh, i 
it was priced at 9 99 but I think I got this for a couple of quid from a, a second-hand website. And then the next one I'm going to read is The Women's War, which I mentioned yesterday about the US Civil War. So I'm really looking forward to that one, so I'm going to try that. Anyway, other than that, thank you very much for watching, um, and I shall see you very soon.